All right, folks, I'm working on a fire pit, and this is going to be the cook stand, I guess you would call it. So I've got, what, right at three inch pipe right here, and I guess two inch pipe here. This is two and a half outside, and this is about two and three quarter inside. And this is just old stuff that I had laying around, so it's not anything beautiful. But this is going to be like an adjustable cook stand, and that's going to be my racks to cook on right there. And then I'm going to have a, a one on the top. Well, this was an old flower pot holder, and I just straightened it out a little bit. But that's going to be to hang my Dutch oven on. on it's going to be on the top one up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount my... I'm gonna mount my racks and my hanger on these right here, and I'm gonna have holes drilled in it where I can adjust the height and if it gets too hot or too cold. And it's gonna be able to swivel around out of the way, and then that way you're not over the fire trying to turn the meat. You can just take the rack and turn it out and then flip the meat and then just, just swivel it back around over the fire. Because if you've ever cooked over a fire, it gets, I mean, your fingers are just smoking. So you about got to do it welding gloves. So I figured this right here would make it a whole lot easier, better to be able to swivel it around and get it out of the way. And uh, if you're not working on, you know, if you're not cooking on one of these and you can use the other one as a table or whatever, you know, you can swivel it on the outside just to hold your, you know, barbecue sauce or whatever you're doing. But uh, anyway, y'all hang in there and let's see how this thing turns out. All right, people, using what I got. Y'all see how I'm going to, fix that right there she's gonna ride on that pipe right there and then two to level these things this way I mean I put a speed square on a flat table when I built that frame right there and I mounted that pipe but all I have to do is get inside of this pipe right down here and put a bead you know just put a spot weld right there just to build that up and then that way that'll pick it up you see what I'm saying and like I said, this is all I've got. It's all expanded metal I've got. And I'm trying to keep the fire as far away from that as I could. And with the angle iron that I had, this is as far as I could get. If I could have got it out there three foot, I would have. But those are two foot. Two foot by 14, I think, is, is what, what it worked out with the materials that I had. So I'm going to work on that pot holder right now. And then we're going to see what this thing looks like. All right, got my pot holder built. Put me a little stabilizer in there because, you know, you put enough groceries in one of them big heavy Dutch ovens and it won't take long. You'll start uh, you'll start adding some weight pretty quick. So got everything built. Fixed to set this pole in concrete and I'll start drilling holes for, you know, my adjustments on how high I want it depending on what kind of fire ring I'm going to go with. Or you don't have to have a fire ring, but I don't know. It would be a little bit more efficient if you did and that it would hold the heat to it, you know, straight up. Anyway, y'all hang in and let's see what happens. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, beautiful morning out here. Hope y'all having a good one so far. Oh, I set that pole yesterday, that, that two inch oh, metal post, three bags of sacrete. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a three eighths bolt through there or pin, whatever. You don't have to have a pin. You could use a, a welding rod for whatever. I mean, anything would work, but I'm gonna drill holes probably every four inches up through here. And then that way I can set the height on those racks. And if it gets too hot, I can pick it up. If it gets too cool, I can drop it back down. All I'm gonna do is just pull them around and uh, have them adjustable. I won't go all the way up doing that probably because that'd be a lot of holes to drill, especially three eighths holes. But uh, I'll probably go up to say, I don't know what, three foot off the ground, probably be enough. I mean, if you got a fire that hot, you know, you might need to let it calm down before you start cooking anyway. So, let's see what happens. Let me get this thing finished up. And I may do another video on just building a fire pit right here instead of just getting a wheel, you know, a rim or a ring or something. I may end up building a nice fire pit. Might as well. Y'all hang in there, let's see what happens. All right, folks, I got it roughed in right now, just sort of trying to get a layout of where to put the you know where to start drilling at thinking that's about it depending on if i put a concrete slab and then start you know build a fire pit or, or fire ring or whatever you don't have to have 
you don't have to have all that. You could use a tractor rim or a truck rim or a, I think the oh, tractor supplies got little rings. Anything will work, rocks, blocks, whatever you got. You don't have to have anything. It's just don't, you know, don't let the fire get out when you leave or whatever. But, uh, that right there's gonna work pretty good. That way you can just grab that right there when I put those pins in there and just roll it around out of the fire, flip your steaks or pork chops or whatever, roll it right back in the fire and you ain't burning your fingertips. You can use that right there for a table. I'm probably gonna build a third one. This hat didn't have the material to do it, but oh, a third one would be nice. Maybe a little bit bigger work space out here. Something to hold your barbecue sauce. I mean, just, you know, stuff like that makes it real super convenient. But I always got this thing right here I can use too to prop stuff on, you know, use it for a table. That's where I cook my whole hogs at right there. But like I said, you don't have to have anything special, just anything. I think it's gonna work out pretty good. Well, could you see that Dutch oven hanging right there over that fire? That's gonna be sweet, ain't it? Y'all hang on just a little bit. Let's see if I can't get this thing finished up, get some pins in it, and that way I can show y'all. All right, here we go. Go ahead and get a good bit. Drill through that pipe. Good metal cutting bit. But I'm gonna adjust this right here. I'm gonna adjust my pot height with a chain but then when you want it out of the fire you just ease it around you can do what you need to do stir your pot put it right back over the fire same thing with your steaks pull them around flip them over just have your little metal hook or something or you can reach out there and grab it and pull it off that fire and with that fire ring is it's going to come up and it's going to keep from burning your shins up while you're standing over there close to it and this one, you can use it for a table, or you can cook with this one too, either way. I mean, I know this is super simple, folks, but it's so, it's going to be really nice, something to cook on. Okay, finished up that video, let's get started on another one. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Appreciate y'all.